Well, we all know people who talk with their hands. We, it can reveal so much about yourself when you use gestures. In her new book, Thinking With Your Hands, University of Chicago cognitive psychologist Susan Golden Meadow uh, examines the roles gestures play in our everyday lives and how we communicate. And she joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. So can we pick up uh, what someone's really trying to say uh, subconsciously with, with their, their gestures? I think we can. Um, not always. Yeah, give us an example. Well, let me give you a very simple example from a child who um, is talking, trying to count the numbers in, in checkers. Okay, we we have two rows of checkers, and so and you ask him if he has um, the same number of checkers in both rows. And the kid, um, and then you spread the checkers out, and the kid says. It's a different number of checkers. Of course, it's a different number of checkers. But with his gestures, what he does is he connects the checkers in one row with the checkers in another row. And that's telling you that he really does understand that there's the same number of checkers in the two rows. He doesn't know he knows that. The only way that you can tell is by looking at his hands. So does that make sense? I think so, but I'm... I'm easily confused. So <laughs> let's talk about toddlers and how important it is that you teach them to talk with gestures, or does that happen naturally? It happens naturally. You don't have to teach them to talk with gestures. They will use their hands. What you can do is respond to what they say um, with uh, their gestures. So if a child points at a cup and says, mommy, you can say, yeah. Yeah, that's mommy's cup and then that, that's a perfectly good time to tell him how to create that sentence do adults use gestures that contradict what they're verbalizing sometimes i mean i'm less interested in the contradictions than in when gesture adds information ah. so my students is is looking now at um social evaluation so if you say well, I think men and women are equally good learners. But what you do is you say, I think men and women are equally good learners. In your words, you're saying they're equal, but in your gestures, you're sort of putting men on top of women. Huh. You probably don't realize you're doing it. Uh -huh. And it does happen. Interesting. So does that mean that gestures are universal and the, the language is the same from one culture to another? next or another language to the next? No, they're not universal, but they're very iconic. They're very descriptive. They look a lot like what you mean. Um, so they are interpretable, but the gestures that you produce with one language don't look identical and they aren't structured in the same way as the gestures you produce with another language, Is but they're pretty interpretable. Does it say something about you if you are more prone to talk with your hands? Well, we've done work showing that if you talk with your hands, it's probably going to help your cognition. So it'll probably help you uh, think more quickly and remember more. So what it says is that you're using your brains. See? Yeah. Very smart, Yes. Mary. Very smart. <laughs> the book is Thinking <laughs> With Your Hands, a surprising science behind how gestures shape our thoughts. Thank you, Susan. Thank Thanks, Susan. We'll You're be right welcome. back.